The amazing things you will see in this video are all real images taken from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, which has been flying around the Red Planet for 15 years. It has returned almost 400 terabits of data. Most importantly of all, it provides us with a bird's eye view of the Martian surface. Each image tells an interesting story and is much stranger than it appears on the surface. This image was taken back in 2013 and shows what appears to be a very strange shape under the Martian sand. The object was even observed slowly creeping along the Martian surface. Unfortunately, this is not some alien life form, but rather a pair of sand dunes which are transported along the surface as a result of the wind. Here you can see a Martian avalanche. The dark streaks are areas of less dust. It's not known what causes these avalanches, but it may be a sudden warming of the surface. As the avalanche rolls downhill, it is diverted by the terrain and splits into many smaller channels. These streaks will fade over many decades as more Martian dust is deposited from the sky. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter keeps finding brand new impact craters. This crater and its distinctive color patterns were pictured in 2018. The colors are caused by the unique elements thrown out by the impact, known as ejecta. The colors will fade in a few decades, but the crater will still be identifiably new, as the cavity will be deep compared to its diameter. In this new impact, the ejecta has been blasted almost one kilometer away from the crater. Due to the thin Martian atmosphere, small asteroids are much less likely to burn up on entry and most will result in an impact and subsequent crater. In this image, taken quite recently in 2019, we can see a small object, shiny and definitely not a part of the natural landscape. If you were to suggest that this object is man-made, then you would be correct. This is actually the Curiosity rover, spotted at a location known as Woodland Bay. And here is the Opportunity rover at Victoria Crater. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is the greatest scout for any land-based missions. The team at NASA can use its data to plot their preferred route and even find interesting places for new missions. This is the chosen target site for the new Perseverance rover, which will touch down in February 2021. Nicknamed Jezero Crater, it is thought to be an ancient river delta. Perseverance will look for signs of ancient life. In this image, taken near the Martian South Pole, an almost vein-like structure can be seen sprawling across the surface. These are erosion patterns formed by seasonal frost. Near the Martian poles, deposits of carbon dioxide frost can build up, becoming over several feet thick in the winter. Frost has been spotted on the surface of Mars over and over again. 
Some of this is water ice, and some is carbon dioxide ice, also known as dry ice. The brighter spots in this image are speculated to be dry ice. This striking image was taken near the South Pole, where large deposits of carbon dioxide ice are starting to melt as the region enters its warmest period. Appropriately nicknamed Swiss Cheese Territory, the area also contains a large hole. NASA scientists are not sure whether this is an impact crater or a collapse pit. Here, these sand dunes appear to be flying in formation. Birds and military aircraft sometimes fly in a V-shaped formation, which helps them to conserve energy due to the aerodynamic benefits. For dune fields on Mars, however, this is a result of sand supply, topography, and wind speed. This image shows sedimentary rock and sand within Danielson Crater. Cyclical variations in the sediment properties made some layers more resistant to erosion than others. After eons, these tougher layers protrude outward like stair steps. Sand dunes often accumulate on the floor of craters. This particular dune appears bluish in enhanced color. This enhanced color allows NASA scientists to confirm that this dune is made of finer material or has a different composition than the surrounding dunes. This tangling mess of dark lines was formed by dust devils. Swirling torrents of dust leave marks like this all over the Martian surface and have even been captured in the act. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has transmitted more than 65,000 images back to Earth. This video is just a small selection of some of the most interesting. Viewing as a human being, it can sometimes be difficult to conceptualize what we are seeing from an aerial perspective. Luckily, NASA has also sent multiple ground-based rovers to Mars. Just like in this video, we have selected the best ground-based images for your viewing pleasure in our Mars in 4K series. Click here to see what the rovers have seen, directly from the surface of Mars in stunning 4K. Part 2 is also now available. If you've already seen it, please help by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching Elder Fox, and don't forget to subscribe.